party people what's up welcome welcome back to my channel i'm tori and today i'm starting this thrift vlog in the bathroom i'm currently with my best friends we're in newport beach for the weekend and we want to go thrifting today so i thought i would take you all along but before that i wanted to show you my skincare routine and um i feel so cool because hero cosmetics sent me some things from their new line and i've loved using their mighty patch before so i'm so excited to be working with them i can't believe i'm saying that right now they sent me their two new products and it's the hero force shield super fuel serum stick and then the accompanying force shield supercharged reset mist so what these products are supposed to do is they're supposed to help you with your mask knee and I'm not someone who has had super problematic skin throughout quarantine. My skin kind of cleared up before quarantine because I used to have cystic acne, but now I'm just like super committed to making sure my skin is super clear. It helps strengthen your weakened skin barrier. And obviously because we're all wearing masks, we're have our this area of our skin is a little more irritated. And I feel like especially now it's like the world opening up. I'm going out more. I'm in Newport Beach, so I'm definitely exposing my skin to more things like the sun and like the <laughs> general air. And I don't know if you can see it in this light, but I get a lot of redness around my nose. I think part of it is because I have allergies right now because seasonal allergies, but also I have like a nose ring. I'm always just constantly rubbing this area of my face. So I also like these products because I feel like it helps calm the redness. They have a very like pepperminty botanical smell. I think they also has like rosemary and other kinds of herbs like that in it. And I really like it. So what I do is I will just apply this one in upwards motions where I would normally put my mask. And, and that's actually where I mostly break out, like right here. I actually really like using this product because I feel like it keeps my skin very clean. And then by keeping it clean, it keeps it pretty clear. And after that, I'm going to put on my moisturizer and my sunscreen. And outside of wearing them with my mask, I also just like using this reset mist whenever, like during the day, when I just need a little pick me up when I'm like working from home or just doing anything else. Thank you, Hero, for sending me these products. And I'll have my coupon code linked down below, or I'll just like throw it up here on the screen. But I really do like these products and I hope you try them out too. So let's just go. <laughs> content creators making the, the most of their Memorial Day weekend. Was it Vlog Kiss? Vlog Kiss. Ew. Never. <laughs> Hello party people, what's up? So it's been a few days since we returned from Newport so I thought I would show you what I got during this haul. I'm still getting used to vlogging in public. It's honestly so much harder than it looks. I think some of these clips that I featured were like given to me by my friend Emma. So Emma, thank you so much. I don't know, I feel like whipping out a camera in public is really awkward, especially in places that aren't Los Angeles. We were in the OC, so that counts as not LA. So yes, I feel like let's just jump into it. So the first place that we went to was this place called Savers. I've never been there, but my friend Emma swears by the one in Altadena, I think it is. Most of the clothes that I got in this haul are from there and they're all pretty great. Oop. So the first one that I have right here is this top from Worthington. I got it in a size extra large. It's this polka dot top. I don't know if it's a brown top or a black top, but I still like it a lot. I think it's really cute. It reminds me of something that Brooke Davis would wear, kind of similar to the shirt that I'm wearing today. I love having more statement blouses like this, or at least pattern blouses like this, because I love wearing them over jeans or over my trousers that I have. Next piece that I have, oh my god, I'm gonna spill everything. The next piece that I have is this top from Dress Barn. Aren't the colors so cute? It also has a really fun butterfly motif. I mentioned butterfly motifs in my last video or my last style video a couple videos ago, and I knew I had to get this because 
the butterflies. It was a sign. It's just really fun and lightweight and I feel like the colors just remind me of rainbow sherbet and it's perfect for the summertime. The next piece that I have is this dress. This dress is from the brand DJ Summers and it is so stinking cute. I really like the colors of this dress. It originally had a fabric rose in the middle of it, but I ended up just taking it out with some with some scissors. There's like special scissors for it. I forget what it's called. I love the glitter in it. I also love the colors in it. I feel like the colors are very fall appropriate. So this is definitely gonna be a great transition piece to wear when we're transitioning from summer to fall, but also I can definitely see myself wearing it now. So recently my roommate and I watched the Matrix trilogy and obviously the Matrix has really incredible fashion. You know, we think of the leather, the latex, the sunglasses, but I also really loved the like utilitarian outfits that they would wear when they were in the real world and it really just like stuck out to me. And I've also lately been really into this actress from the early 2000s, her name is Shannon Sossman and I really love her style. I love her in the movie um, A Knight's Tale. I recently wa watched a rom-com she was in called 40 Days and 40 Nights. So she's kind of been like my go-to early aughts inspiration as well. And I found this skirt at Savers and I feel like it really reminds me of the two of those things. It also reminds me of my best friend Clara. So I feel like if I need help figuring out how to style this, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna channel Clara. And it's this cabby skirt. It's just this long brown skirt and there's just something about it that really just struck me and I'm so happy that it fits really well. Um, and it's super cute. That's really all I have to say. And I'm so excited to have a really fun new skirt in my collection. And then the last two pieces are actually workout wear. I feel like a huge trend right now is people are going into like the workout wear section and the swimwear section to find tops and bottoms that can be worn not only for the appropriate activity they were made for, but also just like as um, pieces in general. So they have more of like a dual purpose. So the first one that I have is one Emma found for me and it's this ribbed Nike top in this gorgeous shade of pink. I think it's so fun. I can definitely see myself wearing this as a workout top, but also honestly just like over jeans. And I feel like it'll also pair really well with this next piece that I have, which is this workout skirt. And it actually has spandex built in as well. This is from the brand Jerdog. I can definitely see myself wearing it as like, like a swimsuit bottom cover up if I just wanna rock like the top. I can also definitely see myself wearing it to like, you know, with a graphic tee and going to run errands and stuff like that. So that's it for clothing items that I got at Savers. I also love going to the DVD section at thrift stores because I think there's just something amazing about owning your favorite movie in like a physical form. We live in the time of streaming services and I feel like there's nothing more heartbreaking than when you can't find your favorite movie on any of these websites and then you like just end up having to like pay for it. So I'm really excited to just have my favorite comfort movies like in physical form and whenever I wanna watch them, I can just plug in my CD-ROM drive and have a good time. I don't know about all of you, but I'm also one of those people who just misses and loves like the special features and bonus features that they would have on DVDs. I don't know if it's just because like I'm a Gemini, but I know that like ever since I was young, me and my brother would always love watching the bonus features or like the extra commentary in movies because we love to know like the behind the scenes knowledge. We love to know all those like fun facts and trivia. So I picked up three of my favorite movies. The first one that I have here is Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. I talked about Charlie's Angels in in my 10 favorite movies video and this one is a sequel so I definitely just had to complete the collection so thank you ex Tina for donating this so I could have it in mind I mean we have to stand this trio you know like Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu they're all iconic I also talked about this next movie in my 10 favorite movies video and that is Pride and Prejudice the one with Keira Knightley um, iconic soundtrack iconic cast. I mean, I talk about this movie more in that video, but I just think this is one of like the greatest like Jane Austen adaptations. Yeah, I'm just happy to have it on DVD. And then the last movie is another great comfort movie for me, and that is The Holiday with Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, Jack Black, and Jude Law. It's a Nancy Myers film. It's technically a Christmas movie, and it's honestly one of my family's favorite Christmas movies, but I could honestly watch this all year. If you haven't watched it, it's basically about Cameron Diaz, just like this kick-ass, like, 
trailer editor and um, Kate Winslet and they switch homes over the holiday vacation because they both kind of go through breakups like right before the holidays. So 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend this movie as well. And then while we were in Savers, I actually spotted a record store in the same little strip mall and every time me and my roommate are near a record store or like a flea market, we always have to check out the vinyls that they have. And so I picked up a couple from theirs. And the first one that I have is The Doors Waiting for the Sun. Oh my god, there's glare. But I've recently become really into The Doors and I wanted to listen to more of them because three of my favorite writers, Joan Didion, Eve Babbitts, and Patti Smith, they all talk about Jim Morrison in their work. So, you know, might as well listen to the work of Jim Morrison, you know? I, a few videos ago, I was also wearing a Doors shirt. So now I'm like, I can't be a fake fan. I own one of their albums. So, you know, I'm not that fake. And then the other vinyl that I got is Kraftwerk's Tour de France. Um, this is a really cool album. My dad showed me and my brother this band. If you're really into like electronic music, you would love their music. They're also gonna be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. So if you haven't checked them out already, you definitely should. I love the title track and the last track, Tour de France, because it kind of reminds me of Space Mountain. Yes, I am a Disney adult. Yes, I did watch Curtis Connor's video on Disney adults, so. Yeah. <laughs> so the next place that we went to after we went to Savers was this thrift store called Ecotown that Emma had found on TikTok. And Ecotown was actually a really cool store. It was definitely less, it's kind of like a thrift store and consignment store hybrid. It had sections of like designer goods and accessories in like glass boxes, but then it also had like really affordable secondhand clothing. But then there were other aisles that were full of like knickknacks, full of like sports equipment, music equipment, like guitars and amps. It was so interesting. And they even had like a collectible toy section. Like it was so interesting. I would definitely recommend going to one if you can find one near you. It was super clean. It was super organized. It was organized by color rather than size, which I find to be actually way more helpful, especially in second hand stores so the first thing that I have is this camo skirt it is a little big for me so I don't know if I have to like take it in somewhere but I thought it was really cute it gives me a lot of like Lindsay Lohan energy if I'm being honest like I can definitely see myself kind of going for a more like, costumey early 2000s look with like my juicy tank top but I can also see myself kind of wearing it for now with just regular <laughs> with just one of my usual graphic tees. And then my friend Rachel, my roommate and friend Rachel found me this top. I love this pattern and I love the ruching detail at the sides. I'm honestly just expanding my second skin layering top collection. It's definitely opaque enough that I can wear it on its own. So I'm super excited about it. This brand is Cable and Gage. Cable and Gage, Cable and Gage. I don't know. I just went to this place in the OC called The Lab where there's like, where there's a Buffalo Exchange, but I didn't really find anything there. We also went looking at the record store over there called, I believe they're called Tangerine Records and they keep all their records in like this old Airstream and it's like super fun and super cool. But I didn't pick up anything from there. So that's really all I got in Newport. I'm really excited to style all these pieces. Also again, don't forget if you wanna try out the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield for yourself, I'll leave my coupon code and all the things you need down below. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you all for the next one. Bye.